Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jacksoft to another adventure. So right now we are making our way into Chinatown because as a self-proclaimed photography enthusiast, I wanted to take some pictures of Chinatown at night because I heard the vibes were a little different. So let's head over there, let's find some good spots for photography, and let's see what life is like in Chinatown at night. So join me as Jacksoft to Chinatown again. Let's go. So as we're walking into the Chinatown gates, check this out. I've never seen this before. Transformer, wow. Crazy. Definitely catches some attention. But anyways, we're not really here for this kind of stuff. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going into Chinatown. So nowadays it does get dark earlier, like around 5ish. And usually like the merchandise shops, they close at around 6. So right now we're in that very weird dynamic where the sky's getting dark, but shops are still open. But check it out. This is a pretty good spot for photography. And you know, with the GoPro, the quality sucks during low light situations. So I may switch to my phone. But yeah. So usually the lanterns light up, but right now it's still kind of early, I reckon. But check it out, just down the block, amidst all these people, it's a big Christmas tree down there. It is Christmas season, so I expect Chinatown to be extra lit up. But we're gonna go check that place out before we go back on Grand Avenue for the lanterns. Although that may not be part of Chinatown, who doesn't like a big ass Christmas tree? It's nice though. So let's make our way back to Grand Avenue. Hopefully the lanterns are lit up so we can go take some nice lantern pictures at night. All these photography enthusiasts, the lanterns are lit up. Let's take a closer look at them. At night, these lanterns light up and I think they look way better. Especially this one, my favorite one, the gambling aunties. I'm so glad they put these new lanterns. It's very nice. I mean, the red ones are nice too, but these are so special, you know? All right, check it out. So we go down Grand Avenue, you have all these very nice little red lanterns. But right now, we're gonna take a little side quest to look at life here in Chinatown because yes, Chinatown is a huge tourist spot, but it's still a community, you know? People do live here. So here's a playground I used to frequent a lot when I was a kid and ever since they remodeled it, check it out. Life of Chinatown at night. You got people playing basketball, people playing volleyball, you got little kids working out here. While people are here playing basketball, you also have older Chinese uncles playing mahjong. And here's another point of interest that's very nice for night photography. Lit up alleyway with lanterns. If you want to buy some souvenirs, check it out. You got postcards, you got street names and your own personalized names you got things that will get your husband in trouble <laughs> things that will get your wife in trouble and your english name written in chinese so here's a real depiction of life in chinatown check it out gambling aunties and uncles just hang out here on saturday nights let's go hope someone wants some money Another alley and more lanterns, and these are different. The designs are a little different. So pretty neat also. Behind me, you have some Chinese uncles taking a break from working, just talking smack, smoking. But check it out. We also have the lion's den here. It's like a nightclub. Oh, kids try to go in there. <laughs> no kids. All right, move 
moving on. Well, here's one of the coolest wall art I've ever seen in Chinatown. All right, so we made it to the infamous Ross Alley and check it out. The Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory, still a lot of people. And this is actually a really good spot for photography too at night. The lanterns, oh, check this out. Wow, very colorful. Here's another alley with lanterns. So right now we are back on Stockton Street and as you can see all the shops are closed. Most of the shops close at around 6 o'clock you know because we gotta go home too. And a lot of people who work here they don't really live here so you know Come here, full day work, close shop, go home. But even though the shops are closed, guess what's open? Restaurants. And after about walking for about an hour, I think it's time to go get something to eat, right coach? Yeah. All right. As a matter of fact, some of the restaurants here in Chinatown, they close late. Some open till like 2 a.m. and stuff, but yeah. This bus gonna get stuck. So check it out, this is a new uh, central subway station, the Rose Park station. Here's ADA compliance. Let's say I'm on a wheelchair, I'm rolling, they see me rolling, they hate me because this is where it ends. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're a wheelchair, this is as far as you can go. So I think today we're going to try this cafe, the gay, I mean G and Y HK cafe, not gay. G and Y HK style cafe, let's go check it out. When it's cold, you gotta have some hot Hong Kong no tea. Mm. Approved. You have coach here who's cold as hell, but he's drinking ice cold <laughs> honey lemon iced tea. The Russians would drink this. You ain't Russian? <laughs> if it's cold, drink even, you get even more cold. That's how the Russians do it. I know Russians, so I'm drinking my hot Hong Kong no tea. So I got the big pork chop, the gok tsui pa yi fan. Coach got the big seafood rice, the gok hoi sin fan. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. But it's good though. Mm. Let's try the pork. Mm. So with the big pork chop uh, spaghetti, Usually they put like tomato paste on it and they put cheese, the queso. Now, there's not a lot of queso here, but the taste though, you can taste the tomato and then the pork chop, pretty good. It's just really hot, so I gotta take your time. Not like kosher, shit. Listen, the Russians will just eat, dig right in. Since when did you become a Russian enthusiast? <laughs> I admire the Russians. Man. If it's cold, they get colder. If it's hot, they get hotter. Well. So that's how you, how you adapt to the environment, you know. There we go. We have a comrade here. Don't be a sissy. <laughs> Woo. So after that big gay meal, I think it's time to call it a day. Time to go back home to edit some pictures. So hopefully through this video, I showed you guys a few spots to take pictures of Chinatown at night. There's also a lot of other spots. Again, every photographer has their own preference. And check it out. Oh no. <laughs> but anyways, if you're a drink enthusiast, you got bars here as well. And woo, another association brand that's light up. Actually, let's go check that out real quick before we end this video. Aside from the pictures, hopefully you guys also got a glimpse of life here in Chinatown at night. It's still very popping, especially the restaurants. And there are still some shops open, but yeah, 
Like I said earlier, I will share some of my pictures at the end of this video, but also on my Instagram account, so go follow that too. And last but not least, this will be my last video I'll be posting for this year. So if I don't see you guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jack's off.